Welcome to the VTAP 305 installation video. You will now be guided through the professional installation of the system step by step. The VTAP 305 system is an integral under-counter water dispenser. It dispenses chilled, still and sparkling water, plus boiling water from a single design tap. It includes stainless steel water tubes and a touch-sensitive control panel. A suitable position should be chosen within 2 meters of the main supply. Please consider minimum space requirements for the base cabinet. Ensure the following services are ready inside the base cabinet. One twin power socket. One cold mains water supply terminating in a 3 quarters male isolation valve. And one upstand trapped waste pipe. Note, it is recommended that 8 liters of water are flushed through the site mains water isolation valve prior to installing the system plumbing components. The base cabinet requires sufficient ventilation. There are additional ventilation options available. Refer to the ventilation option sheet. Ensure personal protection equipment is used during the installation such as safety footwear and safety glasses. The worktop surface must be prepared for the tap and drip tray before installation. Clean dust and debris from the worktop surface and base cabinet after drilling. The following items are needed for this installation stage. Remove the mounting nut from the VTAP mounting stem. Present the VTAP signal and earth cable into the back hole in order to position the tap on the worktop surface. Refit the nut onto the mounting stem and tighten with an adjustable spanner. Secure the front lip of the drip tray to the worktop surface using the supplied mounting screws. Replace the drip tray cover. Fit a 1 quarter to 5 sixteenths fitting onto the VTAP left side product tube still and sparkling water. Secure with a supplied locking clip. Pipe the VTAP drip tray waste pipe to the building waste supply using the supplied silicon waste tube. Cut to size if necessary. The following items are needed for this installation stage. When preparing the water plumbing fittings, please ensure the correct configuration as shown and that all plumbing connections are thoroughly tightened. The water block device should be screwed onto the mains water three-quarter valve first. Please note again that all water connections must be thoroughly tightened. The following items are needed for this installation stage. Mount the gas regulator fixing bracket to the back of the gas regulator.
Position and mark the gas regulator inside the base cabinet. Drill two 3mm pilot holes if required. Mount the gas regulator in a suitable location inside the base cabinet. Fit the 3 8 stem elbow into the gas regulator fitting. Fit the CO2 bottle washer onto the gas regulator hose connection. Position the gas bottle inside the cabinet in order to fit the gas bottle safety strap in the correct location. Drill a 3 mm pilot hole if required. Use a fixing screw to secure the safety strap to the base cabinet. The following items are needed for this installation stage. The VTAP 305 tap system is equipped with a boiler which needs to be protected from scale. The hot water filter Purity Sequel ST comes with a flexible bypass filter head to allow individual settings considering different carbonate hardness levels in the water. Please measure the carbonate hardness level prior to the installation using a carbonate hardness test kit and set the bypass level accordingly to the recommended bypass setting. Position the C300 filter inside the base cabinet and connect it to the filter head. Position and mark the cold water filter head mounting bracket in a suitable location inside the base cabinet. Drill two 3mm pilot holes if required. The filter head can now be fixed into the filter bracket. Insert the cold water filter into the filter head. Insert two 5 16 stem elbow fittings into the cold water filter head inlet and outlet. The following items are needed for this installation stage. It is important to ensure that all pipework is insulated with Armaflex. The pipes and Armaflex will need to be cut to size. Plug a section of the 3 8 tube into the site mains water supply fitting. Fit a 3 8 shutoff valve in line onto the 3 8 tube. The shutoff valve should be in a location visible from the front of the base cabinet. Connect a small section of 3 8 pipe into the 3 8 shutoff valve, then fit a 3 8 equal T. Plug two 3 8 to 5 16 stem reducers into the 3 8 T. These outlets will be supplying both filters. Now fit two sections of 5 16 pipe from the T-fitting to each of the filter head inlets. The following items are needed for this installation stage. Position the water cooler carbonator in front of the base cabinet. Ensure you use adequate floor protection. Adjust the flow regulator valve by fully opening anti-clockwise on the left side for still water. Now turn the right side valve fully clockwise to close for adjustment of sparkling water. Then turn anti-clockwise three half turns. This will provide a sufficient flow rate for both still and sparkling water. 
Fit the 5 16 equal elbow onto the 5 16 still and sparkling outlet tube located at the back of the cooler carbonator. Remove the nut from the ground stud and connect the VTAP ground cable ring connector to the ground stud. Reconnect the nut. Ensure the ground cable is positioned in an upright position. Fit two 3 8 straight fittings onto the water cooler water inlet and CO2 gas inlet tubes. The tubes are positioned at the top of the water cooler. Insulate with Armaflex. Fit a 3 8 to 5 16 stem reducer onto the water inlet fitting. Plug in the VTAP signal cable into the inlet plug. Fit the power cable plug into the water cooler inlet power socket. Position the cooler carbonator inside the base cabinet. The cooler should be positioned as close to the VTAP as possible. The following items are needed for this installation stage. Position the V-boiler in front of the base cabinet. Ensure you use adequate floor protection. Tighten the boiler inlet valve fitting if necessary and fit 1 3 8 to 5 16 stem elbow onto the V-boiler water inlet valve. Fit the adjustable fixing clip onto the boiler silicone dispense tube. Plug in the boiler signal cable connection to the water cooler carbonator. Plug in the power cable kettle plug into the V-boiler inlet power socket. Position the boiler inside the base cabinet. The boiler should be positioned as close to the VTAP as possible. The following items are needed for this installation stage. Fit a section of Armaflex insulation onto the VTAP product tubes. Cut to size the boiler silicone dispense tube. It should be kept as short as possible for temperature dispense reasons. Fix it to the VTAP hot water product inlet tube using the adjustable fixing clip. Please do not over tighten this clip. Then fit a section of 5 16 pipe from the water cooler outlet valve to the VTAP still and sparkling inlet fitting. The dispense tube should be insulated and kept as short as possible for temperature dispense reasons. Pipe and Armaflex will need to be cut to size. The following items are needed for this installation stage. Plug a section of 5 16 pipe into the hot water filter head outlet to the water boiler inlet fitting. Plug a section of 5 16 pipe into the cold water filter head outlet to the water cooler inlet fitting. Plug a section of 3 8 pipe from the gas regulator outlet fitting to the water cooler gas inlet fitting. All pipework should be insulated with Armaflex. The following items are needed for this installation stage. The filters now require flushing. Ensure the blue shutoff valve is in a closed position. Open the mains water isolation valve. Unplug both 5 16 filter head outlet pipes and plug in two sections of 5 16 pipes 
for filter flushing service. Position a bucket in a suitable stable position. Open the shutoff valve, ensuring both pipes are presented into the bucket and flush the filters. Both filters should be flushed with at least one bucket of water each. Isolate the blue 3 8 shutoff valve. Unplug the 5 16 pipe from the hot water filter head outlet and refit the 5 16 pipe supplying the boiler. The following items are needed for this installation stage. The water cooler ice bath now requires filling with water. Remove the white plug from the water cooler ice bath fill-up tube. Present the section of the 5 16 pipe from the cold water outlet into the water cooler ice bath fill-up tube. Open the blue shutoff valve slowly. It must be opened slowly to avoid any splashing. When water starts to leak from the overflow pipe, turn off the 3 8 shutoff valve and remove the 5 16 tube from the overflow pipe. Allow the water to slow to a drip. Then replace the white overflow plug. Refit the 5 16 pipe from the water cooler carbonator inlet to the cold water filter head outlet. The following items are needed for this installation stage. Position the CO2 gas bottle in front of the base cabinet and remove the gas bottle seal. The gas bottle now needs to be vented. Connect the gas regulator hose to the gas bottle. Turn clockwise to secure the gas regulator hose onto the gas bottle. Ensure the connection is tightened using the spanner provided. Position the gas bottle into the base cabinet and secure using the safety strap. Open the gas bottle tap by following the arrow to the open position anti-clockwise. The gas regulator needs to be adjusted to 70 PSI or the equivalent of 5 bar working pressure. Secure the adjustment screw locking nut. The following items are needed for this installation stage. Open the blue shutoff valve. Plug the boiler and the water cooler carbonator power sockets into the building electricity supply. The boiler LED light will now start to blink red. This indicates the boiler is filling. When the LED light turns amber, turn on the carbonator booster power switch which is located at the back of the water cooler carbonator. The boiler will take 10 minutes to fill and heat. The amber light will be on at this stage. When the boiler is ready, the amber light will switch to green. The VTAP can now be tested. First, dispense approximately 2 liters of still water through the VTAP and then dispense 2 liters of sparkling water from the tap. Readjust the flow regulator valve located at the back of the water cooler carbonator if necessary. To dispense hot water, you will need to touch either hot button twice within three seconds. Now dispense approximately one liter of hot water. The V2H system has been installed, commissioned and tested and is now ready to be sanitized. Before starting the sanitizing procedure, place a do not use sign on the system to ensure the system cannot be used during the sanitization. The following items are needed for the sanitizing process. Please note that hygiene gloves and safety glasses must be used when carrying out the sanitization works. Inject the sanitizing service cartridge with 60 milliliters of sanitizing cleaning solution. Turn off the mains water isolation valve and dispense still water from the VTAP to release the mains water back pressure. 
Remove the water pipe from the 3 8 T-fitting that supplies the hot water filter. Use a towel to clean any spillages. Fit a 3 8 plug into the 3 8 T to ensure no sanitizing solution enters the hot water filter or boiler. Remove the cold water filter from the filter head and replace it with a sanitizing cartridge. Turn on the mains water isolation valve and dispense first still water and then sparkling water for approximately 10 seconds until sanitizing solution is present. Sanitizing solution must now be left inside the system for a minimum of 30 minutes. The solution now needs to be flushed from the system. Dispense 5 liters of water from the still and sparkling outlets on the V-tap. Turn off the mains water isolation valve and turn off the carbonator booster power switch located at the back of the water cooler. Dispense still water from the V-tap to release the mains water back pressure. Dispense sparkling water until only CO2 gas is dispensing. Remove the sanitizing service cartridge from the filter head and refit the cold water filter. Remove the 3 8 plug from the 3 8 T fitting that supplies the hot water filter. Use a towel to clean any spillages. Refit the water pipe from the hot water filter to the 3 8 T fitting. Turn on the mains water isolation valve and dispense 5 liters of still water to ensure all traces of sanitizing solution have been removed from the system. Turn on the carbonator booster power switch and dispense 5 liters of sparkling water. The system has now been sanitized and is ready to use. On completion, ensure the system is function tested and that all connections are thoroughly tightened and secured with locking clips. Also ensure that the works area has been cleaned.